Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2024. ISC is the largest integration systems show in the world, right here in Barcelona. Hi Alex, can you tell us how you're positioned in the pro AV broadcast market? Yeah, hello. Uh, Audio-Technica used to work a lot with broadcasters in the sport fields like the MotoGP and we're involved very heavily in some other very famous global sport events in summer and winter. And during this part, we developed several products and solutions specifically targeting for sports broadcasters in the recent years, and we're still doing it as of today. Fantastic. Can you talk to us about the trends that you see with your technology in the industry? Yeah, like with the switch over from uh, stereo in the past and 5.1 in, in some years back when flat screens came up, we now see the next progress from 5.1 to immersive audio, 3D sound basically, 360 or from every direction. Um, going along with larger screens, even at home or in cinemas. And for that one, Audio Technica is these, the solution. We need to go and come up with the next level of audio here and solutions for broadcasters in the field so that they can develop the content for these kind of media. What are you showcasing here this year at ISC? So beside the install products behind us, we have this very fantastic uh, broadcast product on the show. It's the BP3600, which is one of these tools that we developed together with the MotoGP and other uh, sport broadcasters to bring immersive audio into the toolbox of the broadcast in a very simple way. Tell us a little bit more about your latest developments. So yeah, this microphone has a... It, it looks very, very fancy with all these microphones sticking out, but the main target for this one was to find a very easy and fast solutions in the market for broadcasters to just go into the field, set it up in a, in a quick way, and then get a result out of it. The biggest challenge with having immersive audio is that you always have to find the right perspective. And with some solutions out there, there there's lots of work done by, by great audio guys uh, already in the field. But they are sometimes very huge, like you have the, the cut tree or other setups. They're not very easy to set up and quick. And there are other solutions in the market which you have to point very carefully in a specific way. Now this approach here is completely different. It is absolutely symmetrical. So you don't need to worry how you're positioning it. So once you just move in, you see how you can fix it, whatever the, the environment is, maybe it's upside down under the ceiling, on the wall, on the floor, wherever you need to put it, you just put it. And then you work out the magic by just simply putting the cables into the right plug and say, oh, this one is front, left, bottom. That's all you need to know. The rest follows accordingly. And then you can go and plug it into any kind of encoder, going directly into Dolby Atmos or so. And you can create any kind of immersive audio format that you like. Could be Atmos, could be 5.1.4. Whatever you need comes out of any plug you want to use. And this is just a tool, the beginning of the chain. And it's super quick. And who are you targeting with this and what are the prospective future uses? The main target is obviously the broadcasters, the content creators, but it could be even a YouTuber if they want to be really fancy. We have seen people putting that one on a shoulder um, uh, with, a, with a surround sound camera setup, walking in busy streets and having that one as an atmospheric sound solution, grabbing a really interesting sound source. And, um, so it, it ranges from ambition YouTubers and content producers on this level and of course it doesn't stop there, it goes all the way up to MotoGP and other events where we used and prototype basically these uh, microphones in early, earlier days and now yeah, we, we put it into serial production. So on that note, what does the future hold for the company? The future, I mean, we're sitting at the beginning of the audio chain so the broadcasters, they will know us um, as soon as they have the tool in their hand. The end users who will experience what this microphone is doing to them will probably never find out that we're involved, which is kind of sad in one way, but on the other hand, it, it doesn't matter because what we're trying to achieve with Audio Technica, following our slogan, always listening, is that the people at home just listen to it and just get wowed and say, wow, that, that was a great thing. They will see the image, they will see all this action happening, and they will hear it. and just they probably don't understand necessarily how this all comes together and they don't have to. That's, that's none of their business in a, in, a, in a good way. They don't have to worry, at least when at the end they have a smile on their face, say, well, that was something. Then our job was done well, that we delivered the tool to the broadcasters who came up with that content. Amazing, very exciting times, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And uh, see you around at Audio Technica. Never forget, always listening.